Greetings everyone. So I just want to do a little update. I'm going to constantly do an update while I set up this new system. And the latest update is with my older system that I have set up right now, I was using the soundbar system, which is the bar and the subwoofer hooked up to the computer. And I've made some videos covering how you can hook up your soundbar to your computer system. And I would like to make that possible with the Mac Studio. Now, in order to make that possible, I ran into a little issue that I noticed that I'm not having access to, and that's an optical audio out. Now, the Hackintosh has that feature. It has an optical out, and that's how I was able to run the cable to the soundbar to get that clean digital sound. Now, with the Mac Studio, it only comes with headphone jack, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and I didn't want to go back to that analog signal. I think it's digital, I'm not sure, but I still didn't want to run that type of cable. I'm trying to keep my sounds nice and digitally clean. So that's the problem I'm facing right now. So I'm thinking to myself, now I can get a box to hook up to the USB port to convert the signal into a digital signal that will send it out to the soundbar using the optical out. But then I started thinking, I don't plan on using the HDMI port on this Mac Studio. I'm gonna hook up my monitor using the Thunderbolt ports. Now that's gonna require me getting some new cables because right now I have my monitors hooked up to the display port. So to make these monitors hook up to the new Mac Studio, going from the Thunderbolt to the display port, I'm gonna need some new cables. That I'm not worried about because those cables are on order and as soon as I get them, then I will make that possible. So the HDMI port is gonna be a free port. Can the HDMI port on this Mac Studio transmit audio. Because not all HDMI port is designed the same way. They can actually set it up to where it just transmit video. Even though the port is designed to transmit audio and video, they can put a little restriction on it if they want to. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna see if I can hook up the HDMI port to the soundbar and see if it will transmit sound to the soundbar because that's how I really like it to be hooked up. I really don't want to use that 3.5 millimeter jack. So since I don't plan on using that HDMI port, what I'm going to do is hook up the cable to that port and run it to the soundbar and see if it works. So after digging into my box of cables, I was able to find an HDMI cable that was not in use long enough to run it from the Mac Studio to the soundbar. One end is gonna be hooked up to the HDMI output on the Mac Studio, and the other end is gonna be running to the HDMI in on the soundbar, not the HDMI ARC. That will go back to the TV because the HDMI ARC is an output. So if you don't have an HDMI in on your soundbar, do not hook it up to the HDMI ARC because now you're doing out and out and that's not gonna work right. Luckily, I have an HDMI in on my soundbar so I can run the cable from the Mac Studio to the soundbar. Once I hook it up, I went into the sound setting on the Mac Studio, went to sound output, and there it was, it said Samsung. So I know that was the soundbar showing up. Once I selected, play some music, and it was playing beautifully. So I got what I really wanted. I got a digital signal coming from the Mac Studio straight to the soundbar. So now I don't have to worry about using that 3.5 millimeter jack, which is something I didn't want to use in the first place. I would have went the other route where I would find a breakout box to hook up to the USB port that can output an optical signal to the soundbar. That was going to be the plan. But since I don't have to do that anymore, I'm good to go. So if you're trying to connect a soundbar to your Mac Studio, this is gonna be your best option, especially if you're not using the HDMI port on your Mac Studio. Now, like I said, connecting the soundbar to my computer is my preference. I like it because it gives me a better sound. I got the soundbar and then I got the subwoofer versus some desktop speakers. And the sound that's coming out of the Mac Studio, it is fine, but it doesn't sound great. Because I've tried the sound that just comes out of the Mac Studio with the built-in speaker, and it ain't that great. But I already know that the soundbar had to come back in the equation anyway, because that's how I listen to my music and, you know, edit my videos where I can hear it better. And I like the spacious sound, you know, it gives you kind of a, like a surround sound because I use some software to kind of like amplify the sound. But when you're listening to YouTube videos and watching movies and stuff on the computer, 
it does give you that surround type sound. And that's the reason why I like to use sound bars on my computer. So I just wanted to get this word out there that if you're trying to do this, this is how you get it done. Other than that, you would have to use the 3.5 millimeter jack to hook up to your speakers if you're going to use the HDMI port to hook up to a monitor or even a TV. But there are other ways to get the sound out of the Mac Studio if you don't want to use the 3.5 millimeter jack or even the HDMI port. There are devices out there that you can connect to the USB port that will put the sound out through an optical cable, for instance. So you do have options. You don't have to stick with the 3.5 millimeter jack if that's something you don't like. Now, one thing I want to point out, if you're going to use the HDMI port to transmit sound from your Mac Studio to the soundbar, you got to make sure you have the remote because the keyboard volume buttons are not going to let you control the volume. You're going to still need the remote to control the volume. You can only control the volume using the keyboard volume if you use the 3.5 millimeter jack. So make sure you take a note of that because you're going to try to control the volume on your keyboard because you know you got the volume up and down and the mute button that's not going to work. It's not going to respond. You just have to use the remote, which is fine with me. You know, if that's going to be an issue for you, then you might not want to go this route. Now you can use the 3.5 millimeter jack if your soundbar has that option, and then you'll be able to control the sound through the keyboard. But I'm telling you, I'm recommending you use that HDMI port. Okay, so let me give you a sample of what it sounds like now that I got the soundbar hooked up. Okay, so that was a sample of what it sounds like. And I'm telling you, it sounds great. I'm not sure how much the microphone was able to pick up, but I'm telling you, it sounds crisp and the bass sounds great. And you can only really get that sound if you use digital signals. And that's why I always tried to go with the HDMI or optical cable to get that rich sound. All right, so I hope this information was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments section. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.